All right, hello everyone, Rob here with ScrappyDoo.com, and in this video we're going to be going over some of the new features that were introduced in version 4.038 in Shurikatz a lot uh, that just came out here a couple days ago. So, uh, two big things came out. So we have the GSD import, okay? So GSD files, they've been out for a while now. Uh, there's lots of YouTube videos out there on how you can convert a GSD file to an SVG. Well, you no longer need to do that if you're trying to bring it into Shurikatz a lot as... They give us the ability to do that right here through the import uh, button right here. So I'm going to go ahead and click that, and you'll see uh, immediately right now we have the GSD capability uh, right there. So that, that was gone before and is new in this version. And I'm just going to go ahead and bring one in real quick just to show you what it's like. I'm going to go ahead and click open, and there you can see it's on the mat. So... Now you can bring it in, you can cut directly with uh, the Shurikatz Lab program utilizing GSD files. You can do Google searches for GSD files. So this just opens up a whole new opportunity for you to use uh, new file types. Uh, and if you have a cutting machine that does not work directly with Shurikatz a lot, you can use this here uh, and just go up to file export and However you do it, uh, you can do uh, SVG or you can do uh, FCM for the scan and cut folks out there. So uh, this is a well-welcomed feature that's, uh, that's available now, uh, sure cuts a lot for version 4.038. Okay, so the next thing that is new anyway is uh, the, the ability to automatically load your open path fonts. Now we did a video Prior to this, you can go check it out. We'll put a link in the description box below. But open path fonts, uh, they're kind of cool, kind of unique. They're the writing style fonts. So as you can see, I don't have any lettering delight uh, fonts here. And if you go into your um, My Documents, so if you're on Windows, go to My Documents. If you're on Mac, go to Documents. You'll see a Craft Edge folder right here. And inside that folder, you'll also find a folder called My Document, or My and once you're inside there, you'll find a folder called My Fonts. And now, inside My Fonts, as you can see, I don't have anything uh, in here. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and drag those, those open path fonts into this folder. So what this will do for us is every single font that we have inside of the My Fonts folder, it will automatically load when Shortcuts a lot opens. Okay, so the big bonus to this is open path fonts uh, we are not able to just simply double click the font and have it available to us uh, on the computer you know these are special type fonts uh, that created you know basically just for cutting software programs and having the ability to place it into this folder uh, is a huge benefit and time saver because if you remember before uh, we'd always have to go into the my library here and go to load font if we're trying to load the font so uh, it's a welcomed addition like i said uh, you don't see it uh, on our list here you know we don't see any lettering delights you know like likewise we don't see it over here and we have two ways to uh, get them to show up here. You can either close out of the program and reopen it up, or even faster way is uh, simply click this little refresh button and uh, watch down here, you'll see them uh, magically appear. Okay, so I'm gonna hit the refresh button and boom, uh, those three that I just added to that folder are, are now available for us to choose and, and use. Okay, so great feature. You know, like I said, the My Font folder that we had right here, it has always been there. But uh, now it's actually looking for OPF font, and it will actually load that. Okay, so those are the two uh, new additions that are available to us in Shortcuts Lot 4 version 4.038. Okay, thanks for watching.